Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making two dishes that are going to be amazing for weeknight meals or if you're looking for something new to do on a Taco Tuesday. The first one is going to be creamy chicken enchiladas followed by a Mexican street corn rice. So we're going to get started with the enchiladas and you're going to begin with about three cups of cooked and shredded chicken. I use a rotisserie chicken for ease and then also I love the flavor of it, but you can cook your own whichever you prefer. To that, you're going to add in four ounces of softened cream cheese, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and one cup of shredded cheese. You can use whatever kind you like. I just went ahead and got the Fiesta blend because it has all of those good Mexican flavored cheeses that melt really well, so that's a favorite around our household. So we are going to just stir all of those ingredients together to combine. I started to realize that I did not soften my cream cheese quite enough. I did have it sitting out on the counter for a little bit, but it wasn't enough time. So I did go ahead and just use my hands to mix it all together. It was a lot quicker, really easy to do, and honestly, I don't mind getting my hands a little bit dirty in the kitchen. Once your filling is combined together, all you're going to do is put it into tortillas. You're going to use eight tortillas. You can use any kind that you like. You want to get like the taco size, not the large burrito size, uh, but otherwise it does not matter which kind you use. I did use the low carb tortillas because honestly they taste exactly the same as regular tortillas and anywhere that you can kind of make things a little bit healthier, why not? So all you're gonna do is add some of your mixture down the middle of the tortilla, and then I like to fold the ends in and then roll forward. And then you're going to do that with the remaining tortillas until you've gone through all of your mixture. This makes um, perfectly for eight tortillas, which is great because that's typically what comes in a pack, um, so you have no leftovers. Once you're finished rolling your tortillas up, all you're going to do is put them into a 13 by nine. I did go ahead and spray my pan with Pam so that way nothing would stick. Um, and then added the wrapped tortillas in. It did fit perfectly by doing six across the top and then two along the bottom, which I loved. All that's left to do is make the topping for the enchilada. So you're gonna start by melting down three tablespoons of butter. And then to that, you're going to add in three tablespoons of flour and one tablespoon of taco seasoning. So whichever taco seasoning you like to use, it is not the whole packet. So you wanna make sure that you measure it just a tablespoon. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk that together and then you're gonna let it cook for a couple of minutes. Um, you do wanna let this cook so that way the flour does not have a raw taste to it, but that is like the roux in there that's gonna help thicken the sauce, so it is important to make sure that you cook that out. Once your roux has cooked for a couple of minutes, you're going to add in two cups of broth. So the recipe that I was following called for chicken broth, but I went ahead and used vegetable broth because it's what I had on hand. And honestly, I don't think it's gonna make a difference here at all because you have the taco seasoning um, and some other ingredients that we're gonna add in. So whatever broth you have on hand will work here. You just wanna stir that to combine and then let it cook so it can start to thicken. While you're letting this initial mixture start to thicken, you just wanna come back and whisk it from time to time. And then when it gets a little bit thicker, you're going to add in your final two ingredients, which are going to be a four ounce can of diced green chilies and three quarters of a cup of sour cream. After you whisk in your sour cream, you just want to stir everything to combine and get the sour cream melted into the mixture, but you do not want to allow this to come to a boil. So once that happens, you are ready to go. So 
So the last step is to pour the topping over the wrapped tortillas and then you're going to top it with additional cheese. I used about a cup of that Fiesta blend, but you can use however much or however little you'd like. Um, that is completely up to your preference. And then you're going to place this into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes is what the recipe called for. I think mine was done at about like 18 because I happened to check on it. Um, so everyone's oven's different, so just keep an eye on it. I'd start checking probably about after 15 minutes. And here are the enchiladas when they came out of the oven. I cannot tell you how good these were. My husband and I both love them so much. I served them with a little bit of sour cream and then he had a little bit of hot sauce on his as well because he likes it a little bit spicier. And then obviously alongside our street corn rice, which is up next. You're going to start by adding in 14 ounces of broth to your pan. Again, I used vegetable broth because that's what I had on hand, but you can use any kind that you would like. The original recipe actually did call for chicken broth. And then to that one cup of rice, I use jasmine rice, but you can use any kind that you would like, just not like an instant rice because it does need to cook here. Um, I would think that you could make this recipe with an instant rice. You would just skip this step and go right into adding the other ingredients, but I have not tried that before. So after you stir together your broth and your rice, all you're going to do is bring that to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, you just want to cover it, reduce the heat down to low, and then simmer for about 20 minutes. When your rice is finished cooking, all of the broth should be absorbed and it should be nice and fluffy. And then to that, you're going to add in one cup of sour cream a four ounce can of diced green chilies, one cup of shredded cheese, again I use the Fiesta blend, one can of corn and I did drain and rinse it, and then about a quarter cup of fresh cilantro chopped. Um, you do also want to add in a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and then you're going to stir everything to combine and you are ready to go. So when I found this original recipe, I wasn't even thinking about the flavors being very similar to Mexican street corn, but it definitely is. Um, and so that got me thinking that a great addition would be like the cojita or cotija cheese, however you pronounce that. I know I'm saying it wrong, um, but that would be a really great addition, whether you want to stir it in here or top it when it comes out of the oven. Uh, but I think that would be really great. I know that cilantro is a love it or hate it ingredient, so if you don't like it, leave it out, but please still try this recipe because it honestly is such a great way to make rice. I was really impressed with the flavors and I really think that you would enjoy it too. Now all you're going to do is add the rice into a greased baking dish. Again, I just sprayed mine with Pam. I'm using an eight by eight, but you can use any casserole dish that you would like. You're going to just spread that out and then top it with the remaining half a cup of shredded cheese. Again, any kind that you would like. You're going to place the rice into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. And this is going to go in uncovered. It's perfect because it's the same temperature that the enchiladas bake at. So it's really easy to make these two dishes together. And obviously they complement one another very well. It makes for a really great, easy weeknight meal. So I hope that you guys give it a try and let me know below if you do and how you like it.